So I already made a What Happened video about AOA a while ago, talking about their history and losing members, Cho and Mina, but there has been a bombshell that dropped this past week, all from a post from former member Mina, talking about her frustration over what a member of AOA said to her when her father passed. This has led to accusations of bullying and much more being uncovered, all pointing towards AOA's now former leader, Jimin. We finally know the reason why Mina left AOA and what will happen to AOA as a group. We'll talk about everything, but before looking forward, I always like to look back. Now instead of going over all of AOA's history, I'll be starting in 2014. If you want a more in-depth history about AOA's career, watch my first video on what happened to AOA. So in this year, 2014, AOA was preparing for one of, if not the biggest releases they ever had. <laughs> Yes, this story goes all the way back to the Like A Cat promotions. AOA was riding high with back-to-back -back hits, Miniskirt, Short Hair, and now Like A Cat. And this song and album charted high on Korean music charts, even hitting number one on the guy on social chart and stayed there for six straight weeks. Not only that, but they also got international praise by Fuse and they even entered the Billboard's world album chart at number seven. This was the first time ever AOA has featured on the Billboard and US charts. When it comes to Mina, she may have been in the music video for Like a Cat, but she didn't participate in some of the promotions and live stages for this new comeback. Because in November, Mina sadly lost her father due to a long battle with cancer. Thankfully, FNC Entertainment, the label in charge of AOA, let Mina take a break from work to have some time to mourn. Some time passed and AOA was able to continue to promote until Choa would leave the group and even the life of a celebrity. But then Mina also left AOA after her contract with FNC Entertainment expired in May of 2019. That was kind of suspicious at the time since the rest of the members re-signed and continued with AOA. Also, FNC said after discussion with Mina, they terminated her contract due to her request, with this being the only statement behind the termination of that contract. However, after seven years together and a series of long discussions with the members and the company, Mina has decided to take a different path to make her new dream come true. What dream? Acting, maybe? Well, now here in 2020, we finally know the real reason Mina left AOA. On July 3rd, Mina shared a horrible DM she got from someone online and gave a long response, which was disheartening to hear. And here's a warning to the people that are watching that are sensitive to talking about self-harm and suicide. Mina talked about the time she was in the waiting room of the hospital when her father was passing. When my dad passed away, I was in the waiting room crying and a certain unni told me that it was my fault the atmosphere was bad. She went on to mention that because of this member, she took sleeping pills to try and get some kind of rest and she even tried to take her own life when things got worse. Yet she continued in AOA, but then she talked about when she left the group. Honestly, I really don't want to quit AOA, but because of someone who hated me, I was bullied for 10 years. Honestly, in the end, I just wanted to flip out and curse back at her once. In the end, I gave up on AOA. It was fun promoting with the other members. Eventually, everyone got to know who that member was that was bullying her. Not long ago, that Unni's father passed away and my heart hurt, but it also felt weird. I know the pain, I went to the funeral as soon as she saw me, she started crying and said she was sorry. And it felt like my heart was collapsing in futility. All the blame was gone and it was like everything was okay again. But I was so broken that I was scared. From mentioning that story, people quickly found out that Jimin also had a father that passed away this year. Mina didn't sound like she was okay with anything that was happening. Netizens are quick to criticize and she didn't feel like she really achieved anything in life with that first post from that DM. But Mina revealing the truth was sudden, but necessary. She was brave to speak out, putting not only Jimin, but herself back into the spotlight. So what did Jimin think about all this? How did she respond to the accusations? Well, with one word, fiction. She almost immediately deleted that post, but people online weren't accepting that reply, especially Mina. She was frustrated over Jimin's post, so she shared a picture of her wrist to prove the physical damage Jimin's words has caused. And went on to say there are more stories and evidence to prove that Jimin was in fact a bully. Mina was still upset and not happy with how Jimin apologized. So she dropped how Jimin apparently had a guy over at the dorms. 
Yesterday, you said to me that you apologized because you wanted to get back on the right path. That kind of person brings a man to the dorm and has sex with him. You should get on the right path first. At least you shouldn't have lied. The next day, which would be the fourth in Korea, early in the morning, the members of AOA and Jimin visited Mina. Jimin initially arrived angry about Mina airing out her past actions, but calmed down and ultimately apologized face to face. Mina accepted the apology but said one day isn't enough to fix 10 years of problems. Mina still questions if Jimin feels guilty about what she said, since she said she didn't even remember what she said to Mina back then. And that is where we're at now. Mina promised that she would stop talking about taking her own life. But still, her agency made a statement about her mental health is a top priority and they are closely attentive towards Mina and her status. But that isn't the end of this story because later on in the same day, FNC Entertainment made a statement that Jimin from this moment forward has decided to leave AOA and the whole entertainment industry. This is FNC Entertainment. First, we'd like to apologize for causing concern to many people through the events related to Jimin that have been unfolding recently. From this moment forth, Jimin has decided to leave AOA and halt all of her activities in the entertainment industry. Additionally, our agency accepts responsibility for this entire situation and we will put our full focus on managing our artists in the future. Once again, we apologize for causing concern through these unfortunate matters. While this may look like the conclusion to everything, what does this spell for AOA as a group? We don't know yet. All of AOA's upcoming promotions have been cancelled and in the past, AOA has lost three members, making it four with the loss of Jimin. But if I'm being honest, and this is my opinion here, I don't see a future for AOA as a group. They lost too many members and, and with this recent news, I mean groups have disbanded from a lot less than this. Could there have been some possible signs that Jimin has been bullying Mina in the past? Well, one fan wrote that he gave Mina some presents like a headband and things to wear, but he eventually saw Jimin wearing those gifts. Another instance is when AOA was practicing in the dorm room where Jimin would hide Choa's wallet and phone, which happened numerous times. Jimin said it was because she wanted Choa to play with her, but Choa didn't see it that way. And in interviews, Jimin talked about unity in the group and how the members were the most precious thing and how she matured as a person. Almost the complete opposite of what we're hearing today. And those probably the most responsible for not even noticing everything was FNC Entertainment themselves. One time the group and the CEO of FSC Entertainment was on a show together. Choa talked about how the CEO didn't really know their names until they actually got popular, saying he started to memorize their names after the success of Miniskirt. And by that time, they were already a two-year-old group and had years of training together. So this culture that the CEO has of not paying attention to anyone until they actually become successful may lead to why they didn't take any claims or pay attention to bullying in AOA. And all of this could have probably been stopped. But I do want to mention, don't send hate to anybody I'm talking about. Even Jimin. She's not going to learn how to be a better person from you cursing out her in the DMs or in the comments. She has to learn on her own. This whole thing opens a conversation about bullying in K-pop. And I think it actually stems from the bullying culture in Korean schools, which I'll save for a future video. When it comes to Mina though, I hope she can find some comfort and stability. It is amazing to see people from all around the world and not just AOA fans, K-pop fans, to come to Mina's defense and show her love. That is why I think she will get stronger from this. And she has achieved a lot in her life, even if she doesn't see it yet. Getting everyone to talk about bullying could be the biggest achievement she has made. And that's it for me guys. Hope this video has shed some light on the topic. Um, I know it's a sensitive one. Bullying probably happens to a lot of people. I mean, every single person could probably talk about a scenario in school or somewhere in life where they've been bullied. But in this situation, there was a lot of red flags that should have been caught. I just hope Mina is able to find some sort of comfort and resolve when it comes to this. And hopefully Jimin is able to look back on it and reflect and actually work on herself but more importantly if any of you are suffering from bullying or are having serious thoughts of harming yourself please call the number in the description below it's a lifeline if you need someone to talk to uh right now i know things like this happen too frequently uh i just hope that talking about it more uh will get people in power and actually change some things when it comes to k-pop and 
all around the world. But real quick, I just want to shout out my patrons for making these videos possible and hit that subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. But that's it for this one. Catch you on Friday with a brand new what happened, a regular version of it about a certain boy group. Um... I'll reveal more hints about the group on my Twitter and Instagram, so follow me on there if you haven't already. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.